We have some pretty unique local weather drivers that make our weather pretty interesting, but the city of Buffalo itself shares one of those weather drivers with every other major U.S. city. It's called the urban heat island effect. I'll explain how that works in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. Urban heat island. You might have heard the term before. It's been in use since the 1800s to describe a phenomenon where temperatures within a metro area are significantly warmer than surrounding rural areas, especially during the summertime. And it happens in every major city. Summers in Albuquerque are nearly six degrees hotter than surrounding areas. That number is 4.7 degrees for Washington, D.C., 4.9 degrees in Denver, and 4 degrees in Seattle. Downtown Buffalo summers average 2.9 degrees warmer than the rest of western New York. Of course, those are just a few examples that cover a lot of very different climate zones, but all of these cities and every other major U.S. city have one thing in common, asphalt, and lots of it. Dark paved surfaces like roads, parking lots, even dark colored roofs hold a lot more solar energy than grassy areas do. Just take a walk out on your driveway in the middle of a summer afternoon and you know exactly what I'm talking about. All of that absorbed heat in the pavement actually drives the temperature of an urban area up. That while more rural or even forested areas hold less heat and stay cooler. The effect is greater in the summer because the days are long and the sun angle is more direct, sending more heat energy to Earth's surface. The urban heat island effect is going to become even more important in the coming years as the effects of climate change become even more obvious. An estimated 80% of Americans live in an urban area. Most urban areas are warming faster than surrounding regions, and when you factor in all of that pavement, urban areas are at a significantly increased risk for extreme and sometimes life-threatening heat. We've already seen that play out in the Pacific Northwest this year. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek.